because ladies and germs excuse this interruption of our regularly scheduled programming we uh we're back the 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 crew of two here to take over the citadel or at least to fight some to fight some vorcha perhaps more Maybe. where we left off a great question the question that I have for my my for my two young compatriots here. Uh, what do y'all remember? It's been, I don't know, at least six months, it seems like. Uh, but it was probably only a couple weeks. It's been like a month, a month-ish and a half, maybe. Long enough. It's been a while, but both of us somehow took notes on, on a one-shot. <laughs> so we have we have names we have uh, we have things that happen. Mm -hmm. That both makes both me feel Yeah, both found ourselves at the Citadel uh, for various reasons of our own. Mm -hmm. And uh, look, Septus hunted down Len to bring him to the Executor with the other C Sec officers, and uh, we were asked for a help. It's something that CSEC couldn't quite put their nose into as uh, it would be too, I guess, evident. Like, they didn't want to make a big deal of this currently, so they needed some outside help mm -hmm. to, to deal yeah. with the situation. Specifically because the situation is in involving Batarians heavily, and the Alliance, uh, the Alliance not just the systems alliance which is humanity but the council's alliance <laughs> the council's alliance um sorry uh they kind of have this loose um peace treaty with the batarians right now who seceded from council space they they left uh, rather disgruntled about the sudden rise of humanity and uh so yeah they're in their own space they're in the attican well, not even the Attican Traverse, but mostly in the Terminus systems, apart from their their main system, which is uh, in the Traverse. But uh, yeah, so you guys are investigating some Batarian situation that's going on. Yeah, because they've been uh, they were attacking human settlements, but yes. now they're attacking Quarian ships and Solarian research stations. They're. Uh, hiring Vorka or potentially allying with them. I don't know if they actually hire Vorka. And they have an alliance with a Krogan warlord named Garm. Mm -hmm. so, so the Krogan and the Vorcha are part of a gang called the Blood Pack. Uh, and Blood Pack. this Blood Pack is specifically who the Vorcha, the, the, the Batarians are thought to be allying with. Um, now in council space, the Blood Pack isn't a gang. They're more of like a security, like a private security uh, corporation, corporation mercenaries mm -hmm. uh, for the most part. But in the Terminus systems, it's well known that they are a, a, like a, a street gang, basically a space gang. So, uh, yeah, we headed out to investigate a little bit. Uh, we were told a few names to, to start off with. Uh, a Captain Kyrian, who is a Solarian in Special Forces, has information on Garm. There was a CSEC officer named Harkin in the Zakara Ward that we went to go talk to. Him and Septus uh, hit it off. Did we? Not so much Lem. And uh, yeah, so Harkin told us that he had set up a meeting between a crime boss on the Citadel called Rank and uh, the Warlord Garn. And they were meeting <laughs> at, a, at a club that night. So we went to that club. And uh, look, we, we tried to find out some information. We were blocked by some Vorka. Vorcha? Vorka? Regardless. Vorcha. And uh, when Lem tried to get by, they got violent. And tried to, no, he tried to attack him. And so when they tried to attack him, they missed horribly. <laughs> he danced out of the way. Your dance moves. Too good. Look, if if I can fit that into a, 
a description of combat, I'm mm-hmm. going to. <laughs> and so, taking a note out of uh, Commander Shepard's vast repertoire of techniques, Lem dodged out of the way, and then Septus came in to help. We took out two, but then there were like four more that showed up right behind us, so now we're uh, we're right there in the middle of the thick of it. And I believe there's an Elcor waiting to uh, meet me after shift ends, if I'm not mistaken. <laughs> yes, yeah, that was the, the the Elcor bartender, Paul. Good old Paul. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yeah. You attacked uh, two of the Vorcha who were guarding the um, the entrance to the the offices in the back of the of like uh, in the back of the bar. Which the bar the name of the bar is called Cora's Den. Yes. So in the back of Cora's Den, there's the main office. Uh, the door was being guarded by these two Vorcha who you took out creating a little bit too much of a scene in doing so and alerting the other Vorcha who were, there's like the bar is in the center of this room. I don't know if you guys remember the image that we had. Um, Mm -hmm. The bar is in the center of the room and there's like kind of like a raised platform above it where there are dancers and stuff like that. Uh, So there are two Vorcha perched atop there. And then there's, there were two other Vorcha who were kind of like amongst the, um, the denizens of uh, of the den, and uh, yeah, they're they're kind of uh, flanking you in, in in some respect, to be sure. I feel like I would be very nervous being a bartender underneath a dance floor, right above my head. You'd think so, but that's why maybe they employed an Elcor as a as a bartender. <laughs> if anything, he can just kind of like hold it up, you know, just kind of like. <clears throat> On his back. So, I mean, I guess there's not much to do but roll initiative at this point. Oh, dear. Yeah. One like... of those classics. One of those classic. What a way to start. Mm-hmm. Right, initiative, you say? Oh, with my big, giant plus zero to initiative. Ooh. That's a three. We got the dice bag. Hopefully you got better, Septus. Well, I get a plus four, so... Uh, Eleven. (laughs) Much better. better. Not much, but it's better. Okay. Damn it. Damn it! Ah! (laughs) (laughs) Uh, The voice is back. You're going to hear a lot of it right now. I remember there was some confusion of how many Vorcha there were. There were four. He just two on the platform on top of the bar. And I'll be two honest. Coming I, from the... Yeah, I don't remember what I said last time, but for right now, in this main area, mm-hmm. there are four. Okay. To be altered, if you'd you love, love, you'd love for me to take notes, wouldn't you? <laughs> you'd just love that. <laughs> That's why we take notes, so we can then ah, alter boys. ourselves. My boys. There was you only know one. And he was the hell. Right, I think I remember that. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Suddenly, six Krogan come oh, out of the, the oh, office. Oh. <laughs> Bye. Uh, yeah, so what did, what did we have? So you had an 11. That's a, a natty 11. Yeah. I oh, need... Uh, Yes, I got a three. No, oh, yeah, I know you got a three. <laughs> um, so it's gonna be. I need you to make like a contested, let's say, a dexterity roll. Or what's what's wait? What's your dex? Dex is plus one. So it's twelve. Okay, then yeah, make a roll <laughs> for me. <laughs> oh, natural nineteen on the die. Okay, 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 okay. Relax. 
Uh, so, and then there's a one there, so that's another. And then it's Lem. Is it Len or Lem? L E M M, Lem. I like that. I like that better than what I originally had. Um, okay, so unfortunately, Vorch, we're going to go first. Um, so the first one that's going to hit you is going to be, he's going to look at you, Septimus. He's, he's one of the ones on top of, on the dais. Okay. Uh, so he's going to roll. Does a 16 hit you? Who? who? Uh, Septimus. Septus, uh, Septus, yeah, Septus, it Septus. does. It does. Okay. Uh, so this guy's shooting at you with an M3 Predator pistol. Wait, what? Um, I only have 30 AC? Oh, God. I did something wrong. Doesn't seem right. Do you equip your armor? Wait, when I equip my armor, my AC goes down. <laughs> oh, maybe what? your armor, maybe, maybe you're not proficient in the armor that you chose. Maybe. Oh, yeah. Uh, it should be 15. That makes more sense. So it still hits me. But no, okay. not by as much. Jesus. Mm -hmm. uh, so that's going to be five points of damage. Okay. Uh, he's going to make his second attack. Um, but this time he only gets a nine. And so it's the next Vorcha. This Vorcha is on the floor. Uh, and by the way, as soon as this shot erupts from this Vorcha, the normal customers and patrons of the bar immediately start to scream panic and like kind of like make towards the exits or start to duck behind under any sort of cover uh, that they can get to. Um, so yeah, then the another um, Vorcha is going to come. He seems to have this giant backpack on. Um, you find it weird that you didn't notice it before. Uh, and from the backpack, he's got like this nozzle and he is going to shoot some flame at you, Lem. He's coming up behind you there. You're able to see him, so he's not flanking you. Um, but basically, he's coming up from the opposite side of the office. Uh, so I need you to make me a dex save, please. A dex save? A oh, dexterity saving throw. Let me see. Also, not good for me. And you're on the dance floor, yes? I am, yeah. I am I was like a little bit ways off from the hallway down which uh, so they, I'm the, going to work, say, the initial worker were blocking. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm going to say that there's going to be a few straggling patrons who are going to also have to make this step save as well. I got a six. Okay, you got a six. A uh, patron got a six. And another patron got a nine, so they, everybody is going to fail and take full damage. Nice. Uh, it's going to be fire damage, and that's 19 points of fire damage. Oh boy. Um, and so two patrons uh, erupt in a blaze next to you and uh, proceed to die writhing. Oh, Jesus. Um, then it's going to be Septus. Oh, yes, it's going to be Septus. Nice. Uh, how many people are on the the dance floor at the moment? Are on the dance floor. On the dance floor. Uh, I'm going to say there's four other patrons who are like hastily trying to make their way, uh, and there's two charred remains and your friend. Well, goodness gracious! Let these people go before you start shooting. Ah, die! I don't know if they really care. So uncivilized. And I'll, I'll take it. Ignites a lightsaber. <laughs> uh, I'll take two cracks, two shots, two pop shots, two crack shots with my M3 Predator. Uh, You're the crack shot taking pop shots. Uh, at, the, at the guy up top. Who, okay. Who the one who shot at you. Yeah. First one's an 18. That hits. Oh, as a reaction, he is going to uh, fortify. So he adds 5 AC, which, wait, what'd you get? Uh, a 
forgot. A 16? 18, something like that. An 18. Okay, so it still goes through, but you see that he does this. He kind of like, as you're taking a shot, he kind of slaps something on his Omni tool, and you see like these yellow kind of hovering, um, they almost look like projections, like appear like extra armor around him. And you know that to be the tech move fortify, tech power. Well, he only takes three damage. Oh, three piercing. Ah. Uh, my second shot is even better. Luckily, it's a twenty-two. Mm -hmm. And it's two damage. Okay. Uh, and then as a bonus action. Uh, I will also not use the same power, but uh, I will activate my barrier. Uh, and I'll gain some ticks. No lime, though. Nope. Okay. So then after Septus, it's another one of the Vorcha. This is, one is also up top. He's going to shoot it at you as well, Septus. Um, so the first, uh, uh non-natty 20, oh, yeah. this guy, he has an Avenger, an M8 Avenger. Uh, so that's going to be five damage from his first strike. Okay. And then that's only nine to hit on the second. So he misses wildly. And then it's going to be Lem. Alrighty, so uh, I'm going to. Okay, so have the other patrons been like? Are they closer to no, the door at this point? Or no, they're still there at this point. At the end of the turn, they will move their speed. Right now, they're still kind of panicking, and uh, okay, this is all happening in six seconds. So they're they're all like, right, "What?" Yeah. The dude who got me with the fire breath, or yes. whatever. Mm -hmm. uh, is there anyone between me and him? No, at this point, he's right in front of you now. He Well, he's like 10 meters away. Six meters away. Okay. And is there anyone behind him that I could hit if I took shots off? Um. Yes. They're poten potentially. Potentially. If you... Well, not... I'm going to say... If you have like an area of effect, absolutely. Most likely not. If you're just firing with a, like a target, a targeted strike, you'd have to do poorly, very, 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 very poorly to for me to make you hit. Yeah. Well, person. no. Like I have like dual SMGs that I use. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. So that's what he's gonna try. And There's do. still patrons in the bar. Go ahead. All right. So. Um... I'm going to attack. Uh, that's a 12 plus 3. Do I only really have a plus 3 here? I have a plus 6. Um, so, yeah, so 12, so the 18 points to hit. Yeah, that hits. He will also activate his fortification. They're, they're pretty dumb and they just do it as a reaction. Um, and it's, but it still goes through. Okay, cool. Uh, two, so four points of damage. Okay, nice. And then the second shot, that's a 15 to hit. Uh, that will not hit. All right. And then because I have dual, I can use a bonus attack action to attack again. Oh, yeah. And that is a 21 to hit. That absolutely hits. Two plus four. Six points of damage. Nice. And uh, that will be my turn. I'll, I'll okay. try and, like, because I feel like he's, he was, what, 10 feet away from me? Yeah, the 10 closest feet. dude? Mm hmm. Can I? Is there any cover around that I could use? You'd have to back up. You're not in uh, melee range, so you can do so without uh, an attack of opportunity. But That's you would have to. Yeah, you can move back, uh, but like, and take cover behind a table or something. That's what I want to do because right now I feel like I'm in the middle of the dance floor. I yeah, you're in the middle of the dance floor. 
So mm -hmm. I'm going to try and do that, like kind of background behind a table, trying to flip it up and use a table uh, top as a, as a cover. If it's not Perfect. like bolted to the ground. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that works for me. Yeah. Uh, and then after you, it's the last of the Vorcha. This one is also on the floor, but he has a pistol as well. Um, and he's going to take attacks at you, Lem, as you're like as you're going behind cover. But you you, you make it before he uh, he hits you. Um, still, that is a a twenty two on his first attack. Oh yeah, that hits. Okay. For four points of damage. Second strike is. A non natty 20 for two points of damage. Then it's the top of the round. Can you guys roll me a perception or a, a, like a kind of like a history check? I'm terrible. Uh, 14. Okay. 14. Um, which one are you using just, just for uh, history? Yeah, so 14 with your like military training and education, you know that Vorcha have a certain healing factor. Oh god. And Shims, what did you roll? Uh let me see. I didn't roll that. You you don't have to if you don't want to. It was uh, history, I believe. Or perception is up uh, up to you. Perception. Uh, it's just an eight. Okay, so eight. Yeah, you don't you don't notice much. Nope. They seem to still be in the fight. And we'll go back up to the next Vorcha. Um, so he's gonna be there. There. Um. Yeah, and he's going to attack with his pistol. He's still attacking you from up high. It's a miss on the first. Oh, you also notice that at the start of his turn, his fortification uh, goes away. Sick. You guys see that. And then a 12, so that's a miss on the second strike. Uh, then it's going to be the pyro. Again, he's going to make uh, shoot another blast of flame at you behind cover. He's sipping a beer Lem. before he takes his shot. This guy must be a real. It's where he gets the. Uh, he spits it out yeah, and then he goes it. and he lights it. <laughs> yeah, he blows it. Forge <laughs> <laughs> a fire breath. That's how it comes out. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> God, I love you. You should not mess with the blood pack. So what did you roll for your deck save? Oh, sorry. Okay. No, not you, you fool. Okay. Good. <laughs> unless <laughs> you're, no, no, unless you're within, back. are you within, um, are you within ten feet of of uh, Sheems? I don't. Think no, so. I don't think so either. I think you're at least thirty feet away because you guys were kind of like on the opposite side of the dance floor. You're closer to the to the office, uh, the corridor to the office. Um. Okay. Sorry. What's that sound? Sound. Three. Three. Okay, so yeah, that's uh, it's gonna be the full on uh, forty six for you. Uh, Do I have any? I don't even know sure if cover helps for. Dex I saves. don't know if cover helps for deck saves. I'm gonna look it up real quick. Look it up real quick. I'll deal the damage, and if you what get would you half, say it would be half cover, three quarters cover. I would say it's half cover. Okay. Yeah. No. So like, it does give me a bonus, but. Like that's not not enough to save you. Okay, no. what it gives you a plus two or something? Yeah. Okay, that's what I'd I thought, have a yeah. five. <laughs> that's not yeah. enough. So that's sixteen points of fire damage for you, sir. Uh, and then it's Septus, as he kind of like just slowly approaches you, and then starts to like light up the chairs and the tables around you, like things alcohol that was on the table. You see it kind of like <laughs> like glass bottles erupting and stuff like that. Damn it. And I take my eye off the guy upstairs. Uh, ah, turn around. It's burning. 
Bernie. Still my weapon. I'm on my way, Fred. Uh, I'll run. Uh, uh, what is movement speed? I'll run 12 what meters. Is total. 12 meters, I think that's 30 feet, roughly. So. so I'll run as much of that as I can towards the fortress. And if I get to him, mm -hmm. I will. But you get to him. You, you, you can get to it within melee range if you want. Nice. I stick out my um, omni blade for the first time. Yes. Shwing, 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 shwing. And I'll try to take some attacks. Hell yeah. From behind. Slash the bad boy up. Uh, 12. To hit? Yeah. That just hits. Oh. I'm going to say you're. You know what? I'm going to say you're flanking. E you come up from behind as well. So a 12 will hit. Okay. 16. Uh, all right. This is better damage than a pistol. That's funny. Now he knows you're there. So to the next attack, he is going to apply his fortify reaction. Okay. Dang it. Uh, it's only four damage. Okay. Uh, and then I'll come back down. Slice it across the back. Mm -hmm. uh, that is a 19 to hit. That hits, and it passes the fortification as well. So, nice. real freaking. Nice. I don't like that. Uh, Throw it away. What is your uh, your Omni Blade? It does what? A D four? Uh, a D eight. Ooh, okay, okay. Just rolled a one the last time. There we go. Nine damage. Nine slash. Nice. Beautiful. Uh, Beautiful. And it says I can do a bonus action with my Omni Blade, but I don't know what the exact scenario is that I can do that. I think you could just, maybe you can just do it. Like if you take the attack action or something. I have two weapon fighting, but I'm not oh. holding two weapons. So I guess that it doesn't apply. Oh. I guess I, no, I said you I are didn't. holding. You're holding your, you're holding your pistol, and technically you can use your pistol as a melee weapon, right? Or like, or your, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I did say I stowed it away, though. Oh, that's true. Uh, yeah, I won't. Uh... Even though you didn't need to. I know. <laughs> Ooh, biotic slash, perhaps. Oh, that's like a tri that's like a smite thing. I have to do it before. Never mind. I will stand behind him. Let's see. Pick We're learning. On your own. We're learning. Right. I feel like he's like, like much shorter size. than you. <laughs> no, like uh. No, I meant me and. Uh... You and the Vorcha are pretty similar in size. I think you probably would still be taller than the Vorcha. They're like they're pretty short, like five foot. I'm I'm pretty sure I'm, I'm tall. I just meant me, more me and uh, Septus. Right. Um, okay, so then there's uh, the next of the Vorcha. He is the one on top with the M8 with the rifle. He's going to shoot down at you, Septus. Uh, 21 to hit. Yep. That's eight points of damage. Let's see how much this bear eats up. Six. Nice. Hell yeah. And then does a 17 hit you? 17 does hit me. Nine points of damage. Oh. Uh, so yeah, he's up there. Uh, you can hear him. Uh, I hit one. The bird. I hit the bird. And then it's you, Rem. Bird? Uh, yeah, Turians are Turians are avians. Interesting. I didn't know that. All right. Um, they lay eggs. God damn it! They got one hole. Either. All right. Uh, I'm going to take another couple shots. Alas for me. Uh, all right. So Big chickens, chickens I'm with metal take skin. Take it at the fire breather or. Pyro Master, whatever yep. they are. The Pyro. Yeah. Uh, let's say 21, nope, 23 to hit. You better believe it, son. 
Uh, oh, one. Two points of damage. Oh! Both ones, unfortunately. <laughs> uh, then it is a 11 to hit. That doesn't hit. No, that's not going to hit him. Third. He still has his barrier up, or else... Third is a 17? Yeah, that's that's going to do it. Okay, cool. Well, one, three, so four points a day. Nice. He's looking fucked up right now. Uh, ah, get me out of here! Uh, yeah. And then it's the last one on the floor with a pistol. Uh, he's also going to shoot at you, Septimus, because now you're kind of like out in the open amongst his friends. Uh, fucking 21 to hit. Yep. <laughs> so for a big uh, five points of damage as he's... Pa, 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 pa. Ah! He kind of holds it sideways as a uh, M3. Damn it. He's going to make another shot. That's a two on the die. So you feel ding, ding, ding. They kind of like shoot up uh, away from you. And then you see one of the other ones. Hold your pistol properly, fool. Ah, don't tell me how to live my life. I'm just having that discussion uh, on the battlefield. That was and time. now we're back up at the top of the round. So you see them kind of, uh, now you see them stretching and uh, like little smoke appearing out of their wounds. Uh, back to full. Okay. Uh, so now, once again, it will be the Vorcha with the pistol on top of the dais. I keep saying dais, but I mean on top of the bar. Septimus does a 15 hit you. Me Septimus Prime. Septimus Prime beats my meat. Beats your meat. Uh, two points of damage. Another strike. That's a six. Uh, now it's the the flamethrower Vorcha who's going to spin around and look at you again, Septimus. That's right. And now he's going to ask you to make a dexterity saving throw. <laughs> Excuse me, Mr. Septimus, would you please? Sir, do you mind making a saving throw? A <sighs> Big old three. So he just freaking lights you up, sir. Luckily, you got some low damage here for us. 12 points of fire damage coming in at you, full face. This is my actual body damage now. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh, you're down. You're past your barrier and you're past your shield. Yep. Okay. Your uh, onboard VI is kind of like. Burp, 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 burp. Warning, warning. I know. You I are know. now sustaining bodily harm. Fine, cover. Uh, but it's your turn, Septimus. Septus, sorry. I keep Just, saying Septimus. It's okay. <laughs> Just go down already. Try and stab him like over the flamethrower in the chin. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's got to hit 21. You better believe it. Uh, six. Six to hit? Oh, to hit? Oh, damage. Okay. Yeah. Perfect. Okay. He's still up. Fuck. How bad is he looking? He's fucked. Uh, Even though he had, like, the little bit of, of regeneration that you know he's capable of, like, he's still, like, looking pretty bad. Okay. Uh, I will take out my gun this time to have it in my hand. Uh, mm hmm uh, My dice disappeared. That's a 16. To hit. So that meets and beats as he applies his fortify. Oh, fuck. Ooh, 10 slashing. How do you kill this fortune? Oh. Oh. I like stab down to go in his chest and maybe he like deflects it off a bit and activates yeah, he uses... whatever that was, fortification. The fortification. <laughs> So yeah. then I just pull it back and slices through it. Clean. And he goes, ah! I hate fortune blood. Make some room back there, buddy. 
and I'm going to run behind the TV. All right, you guys take cover. Now, as the three, two of them above and one one on the floor, he also takes cover. He, he'll take cover behind chairs kind of across the um, the uh, the dance floor. Yes. Mm-hmm. And uh, they're going to take pot shots at you. So this guy's done. So now Vorta from the top with the M8, with the rifle, the Avenger. He's going to take one shot at each of you. I rolled two die right there, and I rolled two 19s. So that's 22. Yep. I'll tell you that right now. Yep. That, that hits. Yep. Okay. So Septus. Well, that's wait, five points we're damage. Between, we're behind half cover? Rather, yes. Uh, so, so you get the plus two to your ACs. That doesn't hit. 21 Ooh. does not hit. Uh, it's a 22, actually. Uh, Shit. It's some beats. Goddamn. <laughs> but uh, Septus, that was five points of damage coming at you. And then eight coming at you, Lem. Oh! They got something against me. <laughs> uh, yeah, and now it's you, Lem. All right. Uh, I'm going to crouch down and try and get full cover behind this table. Okay. And reload because uh, both my guns are uh, overheated. Your thermal clips are done. You eject your thermal clips and reapply. Is that your turn? Yes. Yeah, I think it's an action to do, so I'll, okay, so I'll kind of hunker down, reload, and that'll be my turn. So the Vorcha behind the table, across from the dance floor, he's going to shoot again at, at each of you. Um, so Septus, that is a 12 to hit you. And that's a natural one on the die uh, for his strike against Lem. So his his pistol like basically overheats in his hand. He's actually going to take a, a point of damage from that. And then it's the top of the round. So it's the first Forcha from up above. Um, and he's going to take shots at both of you. You guys are kind of in the same spot, so he, they're just opening up. Um, Lem, he shoots at you first this time. That's nine. Misses. And then the 12 on his uh, attack against Septus. 12 misses. So, yeah, you guys are covering behind these tables, which I assume that you've, like, pushed over at this point. Uh, oh, yeah, I tried to do that at the beginning. Yeah, and but you you can feel around you and through the barrier that, like, it's getting peppered with these high-velocity rounds. <laughs> Uh, not you're not sure problem. how, yeah, exactly. You start to feel a little bit worried, concerned about that, but it is now Septus. I look right at you, Lem. I don't think this was part of the plan, engaging them so early. I don't know uh, if we should stick around. I don't know if we have much of a choice, honestly. Uh, uh, it's uh, there between us and the door. We could try to make a break for it, or we could just try to fight our way in. It's up to you, pal. We're going to have to get out of here one way or another. Are we getting out or are we fighting our way in? Look, we're actually closer to the doorway than they are now. We're between them and the hallway. <laughs> I like the way you think. But All right, I, I need to reach. If we go down the hallway, we're also going to be running right into a meeting with the crime boss and a Krogan warlord. Just to you know, bring that to attention. I'd like I'd like that to be on top of your mind right there. Yeah. Although, if we do this, uh, it's straight to the top for us. Specter status is what I'm. Hearing. I don't. I mean, I know that's supposed to be great and all, but it sounds like a lot of pressure. Well, pressure's all that life is, isn't it? And I'll jump over the table. <laughs> bing, 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 bing. Ah! Oh, God, wait. 
So how far is this uh, balcony? The balcony, I would say it's about 20 feet away from you and 15 feet up. Ooh, uh, how much is five meters in feet? 10 feet, I believe. Awesome. Five well, meters? No. Six meters is five, is ten feet, yeah? A meter is three feet. Okay. Okay. Um, roughly. It's like 2.86 or something, rather. I will run. Honestly, we could just change all of the <laughs> distances to, like, feet in our head, even though we are in Canada and do use the metric I system. Know. We also use Imperial as we wish, and it's kind of fuck shit up, honestly. Use whatever we want, really. Uh, we do whatever we want. I have 12 cold, meters of, damn it. Uh, of movement, and I have biotic jump that I'm planning on uh, casting as a reaction. Uh, Hell yeah. Gonna I'm going to say you make it. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> okay. <I'll... laughs> <laughs> but no, I, I believe you can make it. So. Uh, it's five Sounds meters. Cinematic as shit. Jump. You're fine. So. You could you like spring off a table that's kind of like in the way, you know. Roll me like, roll me an acrobatics just to see how you land. All right. As you kind of like dash across the, um, you dash across the the dance floor, uh -huh. like like j leap onto a table and then biotic jump off. What did what did you get? It your your face looked painful. <laughs> uh, five. Five. Yep. A five. A five. a five. Okay, so it looks really cool. You freaking jump off this table. You push with like you see your biotics just kind of like envelop you as you you jump and then float like an extra like 10, 15 feet above and then drop down onto this platform on top of the bar. But you twist your ankle coming down, and I'll say you take uh, you take three points of, of damage, aye, aye, aye. like bludgeoning damage as you fall. Um, and then the vorture right there beside you. Ah! Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah! You can you can go ahead with your uh, with your attacks. So the biotic jump is a reaction, and jump is just part yep. of your movement, I believe. Mm -hmm. So I still yep. have action bonus action. Right. Yep. Uh, first one's an eleven. I'm gonna say 11 hits. They don't use their reaction because they're kind of like surprised that you did this. So the 11 is gonna hit. Nice. Ooh, uh, nine slashing. Okay, perfect. Now is this the pistol guy or the um, the M8, the the Avenger guy, the, the uh, rifle guy? Which one went ah, right to my face? Uh, the first one who attacked you did, and that's the pistol guy. Awesome. It's his stupid ass. Uh, All right. Next one is a 25. Yeah, you better. He applies his fortification, and it just cuts right through. <laughs> awesome. Too late. Oh, no. That's a 10. <sighs> okay, baby. Say less. Ooh. Siege then, got a little boom. Ooh, thank you. For uh, to make up for your sad jump. <laughs> <laughs> I put my weight on my other ankle and I use two weapon fighting and I'll use a what does this game call it? The gun strike. Yes. Uh, that is. I rolled a three and a four. So <laughs> I'm so sorry. Uh, it does it brings it up to a ten. <laughs> Which doesn't not really yeah not gonna work especially with the fortification. I like go to use my my but then I need like I put my other foot down maybe to support the twist and it just gives up. Mm -hmm. Okay, which leaves you facing pistol Vorcha, predator uh, M4 predator Vorcha, but the M8 Avenger uh, Vorcha is now behind you, giving him flanking. We did establish that. Oh dear. I'm further establishing it. Pray I don't alter it. <laughs> further? 
further than further. Uh, so yeah, that's uh, fortunately he rolled a five and a nine on the die. So uh, yeah, no, I don't think a twelve hits you. Nope. And his second attack, this time is a little better. Uh, that's a sixteen. That hits. <sighs> that's an eight. So uh, nine points of damage coming in at you. Oh, oh, oh no! Uh, that being said, it's now Lem, our boy. In so, what color is your Enviro suit, by the way? We don't. I don't know. Oh, it's kind of like uh, like purple with like kind of gold highlights. Nice. Fuck yeah. Um, our, our friend in Mo. Take any damage last time, and I had taken mm -hmm. cover. You did. So I can regenerate some shield. Absolutely. Shield goes right back up. Uh, and. Then, um, the flame boy is still close to me, right? Flame boy's dead. Oh, shit, nice. Okay, so then flame who boy else is still was on this. I like, decapitated. The, There's one the dude level. with a pistol who's on who's got half cover, uh, behind a table 30 feet from you across the uh, dance floor. Cool. Call Vorcha on the dance floor. On the dance floor, uh, dance. I'm going to jump over the table. Run the thirty feet right up to his face and just use a uh, biotic punch and just punch down into him. Hell yeah, dude! Uh, and so I'm gonna roll that to see if that actually hits. First of all, I like that. I'm gonna leap over the table. <sighs> uh, and so he's kind of like really distracted too because he was he's looking at the jump that just happened, like <laughs> this biotic jump, and his friends being attacked on top of the thing. Twenty three to hit. It's 12 points of uh, bludgeoning damage. Hell to the yaw yaw. He's still up. Alrighty. Um, and I think that will be Oops. it. Yeah, All right. That, that is my turn. Okay, then we're back to the top of the round, which means they start to heal slightly. Okay. And it's Pistol Vorcha who's right in front of you, Septus. Does a 13 hit you? No, I believe. And that's a natural 20. His first strike, he actually goes in to like hit you with the butt of his pistol, misses, does a spin, lands crouched, and shoots you in the gut for a resounding. So the max damage is five plus another five for 10. Um, and then it's you. Things are getting dicey up here, lab. Just, I'm dealing with this guy, and then I'll come up. We don't Crunching. want anyone behind, like, on our backs, yeah. right? I've got these fuckers. I'll uh, wipe my hand over my uh, Omni tool, Omni blade, uh, increasing the density of it by casting another power. Biotic Slash. <laughs> Uh, Hell yeah. And I will try to do just that. Slash that. I believe you can recast barrier as well. Uh, yeah, a certain number of times per, depending on your level. Oh. Maybe use barrier two mind. times at first level, three times at third, four at six. And you guys are what? Fifth level? Eighth level? Eight. Eighth level. So yeah. So four times. That's a little um, natural 20. Oh, I baby! Natural 20 in return. <laughs> Hell yeah. You're still hitting the same guy? Yes, sir. I like that. I, I, like that I mean, it's too much damage. I'm sure he's dead. It, biotic Slash increases it by uh, an extra 2d8. So it's 3d8. So he could be. He could be. If, if 24 could, base. Well, yeah, you're right. That's 24 <laughs> base. Yeah, no, he's done. He's freaking out. <laughs> You could bisect this guy if you want. Ooh, yes, I do want to. Yeah, you just like 
out of anger, freaking slashes the dude across the stomach, and he, a la Darth Maul, just kind of like falls back and then separates into two pieces. Um, is that your turn? Uh, that's my first attack. <laughs> I'll take another one on the guy behind me. Say less. You should have stayed home today. Uh, ha! Ha! That's a natural no! one. Oh, Joshua! <laughs> Feeling lucky, punk? Oh shit, you are. Natural one. Yeah. Okay, so you like that miss. Sucks. You miss pretty poorly at this one. You you kind of like do a wild backwards slash spin uh, that just comes up short. You didn't see that. Anything else? That's it. Okay, so with that, uh, the other See, Borcha is... You did have that boon, though, right? Did I you used it, it uh, yeah. Okay. yeah. He, ro- he used it, and he rolled I poorly with the boon, and then apologized. Poorly. <laughs> <laughs> so, M8 Borcha is um, literally going to drop his rifle and leap off of this uh, dais, like, towards the exit of Korra's Den. Uh, I'm out of here. That being said, that being said, you're in melee range. Ooh. Uh, yeah, I'll take I'll take the opportunity. Screw gum, you coward! Uh, it's only a ten. So I'm the real. Yeah, so you don't you don't hit, and he's making his way uh, towards the door. He's not completely out yet. But he is leaving. Um, Lem, it's you. Uh, how far away is he? Uh, from you, I would say down your 30 feet from there. He's probably like another 20 to 30 feet from you. Um, but there's also the guy standing right in front of you. It's not the same. Yeah, that's, that's it. So, um, hmm. Sorry, gentle Vorja. So I'm going to uh, take out. Hmm. Actually, what I'm going to do is I have a tech power. Tell me. Called Salvo. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And so it's basically like your magic missile. Creates three glowing darts of plasma. Each dart hits a creature of your choice. You can see within range. Deals 1d4 plus 1 radiant damage to his target. And so I am going to use it because Sentinels can only use it at uh, a specific level. And so I believe I am at second level for my... uh... Yeah, because Sentinels, I only have a specific... uh, Unfortunately, because mm-hmm. you're like a half, you're that. like a dual half caster, so you don't get the whole. I believe that's more of an engineer's, like that's a tech power, yeah. That's it, yeah. So I can use both, but uh, I can only use it to a certain power level, mm-hmm. and right now my power level is two, so it's always it's like a warlock. And I'm always using it, like all my powers at level two. Yeah. So that means that I'm using two more darts so it's five darts in total so i'm gonna send how weak is this guy looking um he's looking not so weak honestly because i have an advancement to this as well which is exploding salvo and each dart deals an additional 1d4 thunder damage might be something you want to try Oh, it's, it's, this is it's, this is the guy in front of you, or the guy who's fleeing? I'm going to be mixing it. Okay, most likely uh, they, to the other one. The guy in um, front of you is like full health. The guy in front of you, the guy who's running away, is not exactly bloodied. The dude in front of me, I punched though. Mm, yes, Last but turn. You, you you did you did you didn't do a lot of damage to him and. 12 wasn't enough? Damn, okay. You did 12 to that gentleman? Yeah. I'm, okay. That was my mistake. I was like, dang, that right? Has, no, I mean, maybe he had a lot of shields. It's all no, 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 you're right. Sorry, sorry, you're right. Uh, yeah, no, the one in front of you is not quite bloodied, 
the one in uh, running away is like more at full health. He was, <laughs> okay. he actually was not attacked. Uh, so lightning damage, if he has a shield up, all shields are vulnerable to lightning damage. They don't have a shield. They have fortification, which is a different, uh, okay. these guys have so no shields. Mind. But it's still damage all the same. So Absolutely. each dart is going to be 2d4 point, plus 1 points of damage. Yeah. So I'm going to send... You know what? For now, 10D4. I don't want him running away. This The dude in front of me is not running at the moment, so I'm going to send all five at the uh, the other dude. The guy who's clean. Cool. That's running. So that's uh, 7, 8, uh, 12... 18, 24, 29 points of damage. Holy shit. <laughs> okay. Uh, he's still off. Okay. He's still up, uh, the shit. gentleman who's running away. All right. Do I have a bonus thing that I can do? Do I have a bonus action? He's very fucked. Like, absolutely very injured. Uh, but I can't use uh, a weapon after I use my attack powers, unfortunately. So uh, that is all I can do this turn. Understood. Which means that it's the Vorcha right in front of you, who he's going to try and attack you, uh, but he's going to do it up close and personal with his claws. So he's just going to make some claw strikes at you. Uh, so does a 13 hit? No. No. And that's definitely not going to hit. So he misses. He's like trying to claw at you, but your shields are up now and they're kind of like, uh, and your, your armor is in place. They're just kind of like scraping off you as you ready for it. Buff it, uh, his blows. Uh, but then we're back to the top of the round. Uh, so they start to smoke as they heal. Uh, but it's Septus who starts the round now. Uh, I'll walk to the edge of the balcony and reach my hand out. Hey, not so fast there, scum. Uh, unless he's more more than 100 feet away or 115. 118.11. Yeah. I'm doing the calculations now. Uh, I'm no, going to use uh... <laughs> uh, pull. I'm going to try and use pull on him. Nice. Does he have to make a save, I believe? Uh, make a ranged power attack on a medium or smaller creature. Even better. Ranged power attack, plus six. Oh, <laughs> why do I keep rolling so poor? That's a nine. Straight to jail. Yeah, straight to jail. Nine is not going to do it, unfortunately. You send this like kind of like glob of biotic energy chasing after him, and you see it kind of like curves in the air, and it goes to hit him, but he just dives out the way. And as it's his turn next, he is going to dive out the door. He's going to run and make it all the way out the door. Uh, then it is you, Lem. Uh, is the door still open? The door is ajar. All right. Uh... And it's open. It's an open lidded jar. Okay. Ready for you to just walk in. He's actually trapped now in the jar. <laughs> <laughs> he can't go anywhere. All right, we'll just leave him be. Uh, no, I'm going to take out um, my, my SMGs and I'm going to attack him. Are you? You cannot. From where you're at, you can't see out the door. Uh, okay, so can I move into a place where I can? You can, but you will be offering yourself up for an attack of opportunity. Uh, that's cool. Okay. Uh, yeah, I don't mind that. I'll do that. Yeah, he misses anyways. It's a cool. natural Great. nine. Sounds good to me. Right. He's like, ah! Oh, I missed! Uh, so 17 to hit? Oh, uh, yeah. That does it. Okay. He's like running down the, the terminal corridor. Uh, you Seven see, points. people are still kind of milling about outside the bar, and they're they're like kind of like uh, taking cover uh, there as well. But you know, people are still like interested and in, and in trying to know what's yeah. going on. Uh, yeah, exactly. And all of a sudden, they see this guy running out, and you just kind of like go in the doorway. Right? Uh, but yeah, sure, go ahead. Uh, seven points of damage. Uh, yeah, he's still up. Okay, 
So but he's absolutely at, at, like he like gets ripped in with these bullets. He goes down to one knee and then kind of like pulls himself up. He, there's like a banister that he's 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 kind of like um, supporting himself on. He's still trying to run away. Get out of my way! <laughs> uh, Seventeen to hit. For Throws a couple out. Six points of damage. And with that, that like seed where he's like. Oh, the, you see the bullets ripping out of his chest and he falls flat as you turn him into Swiss cheese from behind. Uh, then I'll spin around oh, yeah, and take the third shot at uh, the dude that's still inside the bar. Mm-hmm. He's like looking at you wide-eyed now. So like standing stock still where he was. We just wanted to dance. And then I'm going to shoot him. For uh, okay, that's uh, twenty-five to hit. Oh, well, that's not that much damage. That's only two points of damage. Never mind. Oh, oh then you injured me. Then. Yeah. Oh well. Uh, so it is his turn, and he is going to put his hands up in surrender. No. Ah, please! I have a family. Thirty-six pups that I am raising with in my life, shape. mate. Sure, roll. All right, because uh, is I don't know if Vorka are that affectionate. Oh, I still don't know. It's a three. Yeah, you. For all you know, he's telling the truth. I mean, like you could just you 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 can't tell whether he's telling the truth or not. Yeah, no, it's, it's up to just, you okay. to decide whether he's actually holster my weapons. Yeah. Well, he's got he's got some family. Please, please. I surrender. He like throws his his pistol or a little like slide his pistol across the floor towards you. Uh, I'll pick it up if he says it's me. I'll buy it. Yeah, he says it's you. Yeah, you get an M three. Huh? Got a new pistol. He's just Store standing there, hands raised. Maybe give us some information, you know? Ah, information. Yes. And then you will let me go. Well, that's up to my friend over there. You heard him pretty bad. Ah! Depends how good your information is. Fuck. I am a grunt. The warlord Gong tells us nothing. He rules. That's it. Well, he, he, wait, no, he is here to meet with Rank. Rank has, has things. He knows things of the Citadel. He, he has information for Garm to bring to their Gemini. Uh, I'll stand behind him. Yes. Information. You don't have to look at this, Lynn. Huh? What? I'll, I'll turn directly at it. Put my pistol to the back of his head. Ah! An assassin. No. If I can. Um. <laughs> yeah, I mean, at this point, it's like kind of like a coup de gras. Yeah. I'll allow you to basically get a automatic critical hit. But you might not kill him. Yeah, he is full health. Or almost full health. Uh, Basically, yeah. He's been healing this whole time that we're talking. (laughs) No, well, it's not the top of the turn, so not yet. Uh, A crit on an M3 is not much. Uh, I mean, I'm not complaining. but uh, You can pick up his, his friend's M8. Nah, nah, nah. I gotta use my own weapon. Uh, four, five, six, seven. Piercing to the dome. Well, it's for sure not going to. Uh, wait, well. <laughs> can I have I, this weapon has double tap? Can both attacks have? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. At this point, it's like it's it's. Uh, yeah, I would say yes. It's like a free hit. You're point blank opening this dude up, and he's not. He, he's hoping to. Just survive. Eight yeah. piercing on the next one. 
but they're both critted, so the max damage is 14, and then... I don't know if that is max, max enrolled. <laughs> For both of them? Well, the, the second one is, uh, what did I say, uh, 8. The first one was, what was it? Four, five, six, seven, or something. Six or seven. Oh, okay. It's so only fifteen D4, points of damage. So, yeah. you're right, 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 right. So no, he's uh, he's now bloodied, but you shoot him in the head, and he goes, "Ah, fuck you! I'm telling you everything." Sorry, we can't leave any witnesses. Wait, what? I'll take some more shots. <laughs> If I, can, uh, I mean, it's a. I'll <laughs> say that you can, but this is kind of like. A, I'll say that now this is the top of the round, if anything. So it is your turn. I'll say he does heal. Uh, he gets his regeneration. But no more. <laughs> you bastards! I've surrendered! Uh, but it is you, and then it's Lem, and then it's him. First one is a 15. That hits. Second one is a 10 again. Uh, so it's just the first one. Four piercing damage. You undid his regen. Uh, Very good. And then as a bonus action, I will mm -hmm. slash him with my Omni Blade, which I should have done Say before because nice. it does more damage. It's just cooler if he, if I, you know, assassinate. Execute him, uh, yeah. 60. I mean, you could have tried to assassinate him with the Omni plate as well, right? Uh, 16 tit. Yep. Cool. Oh, I rolled a one on my damage die, so that's a four. <laughs> this guy just doesn't want to go down. You really suck! <laughs> Uh, Lem? Uh, how is he looking? He doesn't look great. I mean, he's got two fucking point blank bullets in the back of his fucking skull. He's not great. I've seen better days. Ah. Uh, <laughs> all right. Um, Tell so my family. Dude. Ah! Oh, bad for this dude. Um, I guess I'll just go up and try to put him out of his misery. I guess we have no formal education. This is generally our only means of escaping poverty. Ah! <laughs> um, so that's moral like quandary. <laughs> <laughs> yes, dude. <laughs> um. So is this total damage plus roll damage? Uh, yeah, it's if you got an add twenty, baby. <laughs> oh no! So that's twenty four points of damage. Jesus Christ! Yeah, yeah. <laughs> how do you fucking how do you kill this this pleading individual? This pleading scum, as Sep just called. <laughs> I'm just gonna look up to Septus and be like, "Come on, man! You could have done it. Like, you could have, you could have helped him out a little. You just, you're just like prolonging his misery." <laughs> and <Listen>. then just, <laughs> just straight cross. You punch Septus? That's hilarious. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> twenty-four damage to Septus. No, uh, <laughs> the Vorka. Yeah, no, he's done. He, you break his neck upon impact, unless you're doing. Uh, like, unless you're not trying to be lethal. Yeah, no. no, no witnesses, boss said. So. No witnesses, it is. <laughs> You've known this guy for a day, and he's your boss. I like that. I like that about. Look, I was, about I was brought into this to to help with the, the executor, and this guy seems to know what he's doing. So, was it uh, Saren that like like turned around on on uh, another Turian he was with, and like? Did you yeah, see that has happened. Where it's yet. like. <laughs> it's like if it was actual Mass Effect, shoots him, his shield just like absorbs it. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> just ends up being an all out battle. He would still lose. Nihilus, Nihilus would still lose 100%. Saren's too fucking. Saren was too good. 
Uh, yeah, so you guys are standing in the deserted... Uh, I should have described this before, but actually, no. Paul is still, like, making his way out. They're just so slow, the goddamn Elcor. Frightened excitement. Oh, no. I must leave. Yeah. He's finally, like, making his way out the door. I'm like... Uh, I think I think this might be his time off. So, uh, well, Moody, you're tomorrow. a monster. Oh, come on, Paul, give me a chance. You killed a man in cold blood. He would have done the same to me, and you know it, Paul. Resigned uh, accordance with that statement. <laughs> All right, let's let's clean up the scene a little bit before we get in. I need to let these shields regen. Uh, How long are you going to wait before you <laughs> progress uh, into the? Because the thing is, there's a bunch of bunch of noise, right? So. Uh, they're probably very much aware of what's happening. You know, it's been all of one minute though, like two minutes. Yeah, maybe. but I mean, the music gunshots start right happening now? in like in the club. Like, what? You don't Any hear any music. music. <laughs> Your characters don't just hear ambient combat music. I'm sorry. <laughs> We're in a club. Unless, We're in a club. Unless you have your. V oh yeah, the club music is still going. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not the battle. <laughs> You're just like, in my head, I get Mass Effect and the combat music. That means Maybe you program your VI for that, your onboard VI. Oh, shit. Uh, how long does it take you to regen? A short rest. Uh, a short rest? Uh, yeah, but that makes sense. I guess it's also a turn, right? Like to recharge in some fashion. So, like, if you're not going to wait a whole short rest for them to recharge uh, fully, I can give you, like, maybe, like, two, like, you can have two uh, instances of trying to recharge. When combat has ended for at least one minute, it starts to recharge as well. Okay. So, yeah. I'll say it's You can recharge. Okay. We'll wait the, we'll wait the minute. Yeah. Um, but as you're waiting, is there anything specifically that you do, or are you guys just, like, standing around? Looking at your uh, uh, 34 seconds left! <laughs> We, need we really to need to go. Uh, do, yeah. We look, did. I, I guess sent here for a mission. We got sent here for a mission. Yeah, but look, that that one workout literally ran out the door. That's true. You stopped him, though. Yeah, but it's kind of evident what happened. Like we were supposed to keep it all quiet, right? <sighs> That's not really quiet gunning down someone in the streets, you know. That's true. Well, the other part of our mission was to dispatch a Garm if the opportunity presents itself. Yeah, but this isn't Garm. He might be back there. I mean, yeah, I guess. Uh, should we, like, go grab the body? Yeah. Like, that's just in the street and bring it in? I... I, I don't know, like, how do we clean this up? I've never actually been part of, like, a, a, a cleanup after a fight. I don't really get into this kind of Here, stuff. Here, you, you set back the tables. I'll take care of the body. <laughs> okay, great. That works for me. Uh, I'll go out the front door and take a quick look. There's nobody around anymore. The body's still there, but, like, all the... Uh, patrons the body's are... gone. No, no, the body's still there, but everything else is gone. Drag the body inside. Uh, does the door have a? I guess it would be like an electronic lock. I don't mm -hmm. know. Yeah. Uh, if I could. Uh, you can. Uh, fuck. What skill would it be? Um, you can use electronics. Yeah. Ahead. Yeah, use me in electronics or in engineering to try and um, close, like lock the door. That's a natural toy. Oh. Okay. Yeah. 
Door closes and locks. Easy. Uh, as you do, uh, you can hear sirens in the distance. Uh, yeah. Shit. <laughs> Remember, if they ask us, we're not with CSEC at all. We didn't even speak. Then we're scared to get arrested? Well, we can't risk compromising the count. Can we just leave then? Like, what are we supposed to do? I don't, I'd rather not get arrested. You know, you've seen how they treat, like, Koreans. Yeah. You get out of here. I'll stay behind to answer questions. I mean, but then that's kind of leaving you with Rank and Garn, if they're still here. How long are you guys taking to, like, clean up and do stuff like that? Uh, well, how close is this? Like, once I hear the sirens, if the sirens are super close, I'm, like, getting ready to bolt. They're in the distance, for sure. And you don't hear them, right? Because it's only Septus who hears them as the door, as okay. he closes the door. So you can I, hear them I in the distance. I'd still be cleaning the... <laughs> I'd still uh, be cleaning. I, I, I tell you for sure. You might want to get out of here. If they see you around here, they won't even give you a chance to explain yourself. Yeah, no, I'll get in trouble for sure. Um, okay, you want to like check the back room quick to see if they're still there or yeah, just forget it. Like, we, we were in a lead, this was this was our like one lead, right? If you... That's true. Here, just watch my back and I'll, okay. I'll biotic long jump <laughs> towards the door and try to like grab onto it. Look, <laughs> uh, yeah, so you have to go through the corridor, yeah. Um, it's like a short, like 30 foot corridor, uh, and there's a door on the other side. And when you get to the door and you try and open it, it is locked. It's locked. But can you, op like, is it a manual lock? Is it an electronic lock? Like, what is it? Can you open it? I'll try. I'll try again. How does lock picking in this game work? Like, how does like opening things work? <laughs> is it a work manual? Like, is it? I guess it, yeah. You have to. Manual, like, you have to do something. But if it's like. I'll but is it like an electronic hacking. lock kind of thing? Like that's what I'm asking. It's an electronic lock. It is an electronic lock. So you, you can probably hack into it somehow with the bio tool, uh, the Omni tool. But I'm wondering if that's like oh, a that power. Be a power. That might be. A uh, I don't know. I didn't see it anywhere. Think. What would that be called? If I want to knock, actually, yeah, maybe knock. Nope, a lock because there's AI hacking. AI hacking, it's a better like, creature. Yeah, it's not, it's not AI hacking. Uh, I'll just say for now, it's an electronics uh, check for this kind of one. There you go, until we are more. In Conclusive on what it is. Uh, that's a seven. Bah. Access denied. All right, let's get out of here. Uh, I mean, let me take a, a quick scan of the, the corridor and the area around the door. It's a key or something. Like, I don't want to not look for something. Uh, you know. Papers, uh, a little box, a little gift box, anything that's standing out. Sure. Roll me like a perception or an investigation. Uh, 21. Yes. Yeah, so there's a couple things that you find in this corridor. You don't find a key, but you do find a kind of like a hatch like a small hatch for like a, kind of like ventilation ducts. And like, you know what it is? It's a hatch. You recognize it uh, through your studies as a hatch, and and um, Lem can confirm it's a hatch for the keepers to come and go as they please. So you gain access to like uh, you you can go further into like kind of like um, engineering corridors and like maintenance shafts, and there's also um, there's a plant, and in this plant is a gun hidden. Ooh, what kind of gun? I would love to tell you. I'd actually be smitten by that. That's what I. Um, smitten, you say? You you don't you're you're looking at it. It's, it's a it's a very interesting gun. It's a 
of a type that you've not uh, handled before. So, yeah, you're 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 investigating it. Okay, I'll pocket it. It won't take too long to investigate. It. Uh, Lem, there's a hatch down. Oh, here. actually, never mind. I'll tell you. It's a M77. It's an M77 Paladin. Paladin, you say? Say what no does that more. Mean? Yeah. I love me a paladin. Oh no! Sorry, no, it can't be that one. My mistake. Uh, we'll say an M358 Talon. It's an M358 Talon. Very wise. Heavy pistols. 2D6 piercing. Fine addition to my collection. Uh, we can try and get out of this hatch if you want, or we can run out the front door. Oh. You, you get hydration, but I think those sirens mean trouble. I mean, if the if the hatch leads out, let's let's go. Will a, a tall individual such as myself fit? You'll have to like um, crawl. Both of you will, because it's made for something that's like like four feet tall at most, maybe three and a half feet tall. So you'd have to okay, be like, well, I guess the Krogan definitely didn't go through here. But... Well, no, presumably the Krogan was on the other side of the door that's locked. Yeah. After you, good sir. Oh, uh, okay, sure. And uh, I'll duck in and go. Yes, sir. So you guys duck into this uh, little um, access hatch. Uh, maintenance uh, area and once you get in it does open up a little bit so you're able to stand um, and you're walking through and you can see through like some ventilation grates uh, you can see into the other side of the door and you see that it's an office room uh, with a uh, two um, turrets on either side of the desk and they're like kind of like like scanning the room <laughs> And you see that on the other side of the, the room, there is a door that's ajar. Uh, on the desk, there's kind of like a screen with flashing lights. Behind the desk, there's multiple screens that are showing uh, the entrance and the establishment of Korra's Den. Uh, and there's one screen that shows like a corridor that you haven't seen before. And you can see a Krogan running down it with this kind of like uh, jellyfish looking Hanar. Uh, they're running down this this corridor. You see this? You catch this on one of the screens. Mm -hmm. I think that might be them. And again, you're like there. peering through a grate uh, that you're in this access hash, peering through a grate at the room. Okay, there are turrets in this room that might go off if we jump in. Probably Ready? Not. Wait. <laughs> you want to go in? Maybe this hatch leads to another room. Is there any other way to go? Yeah, you can travel further down the down the hatch, like down well, the, I mean, the. Sure. Okay. One of the screens shows the Krogan and the Hanar like running away. So that's probably them, right? Uh, okay. Let's see what else this can go. I guess, and I'll take the other way further in. So you keep going further. Um, all of a sudden, there's like a steep incline that you guys have to kind of like crawl again, scramble on your hands and knees to get up. Um, it takes you to a sharp left. And now you're you're like leaning. Uh, you, you can see there comes to another grate. And you can see basically the entrance to Korra's Den, like the kind of veranda area that's like leading up to Korra's Den, basically where you shot the Vorcha fleeing. Okay. Uh, but now you're on the complete like other side uh, of that. Uh, open space. We're just outside again. Uh, is there any of the CSEC people that showed up at this point, or not yet? Yes, you do see there is a three squad cars, CSEC kind of like uh, taxi vehicles, and there's uh, four agents milling about, uh, and then two that are trying to open the locked door to Korra's Den as we squeak. 
And one of the other uh, CSEC officers is is speaking to a civilian who's like kind of like gesturing at Korazdan and like making all these these symbols and like kind of like and it's just an Asari who's speaking to this uh, this human CSEC officer. Yeah, explaining what's happened, what they saw, and everything. Gotcha. Mm -hmm. uh, so if I were to pop out of this access hatch, would anyone notice me? Presumably. Um, you well, potentially. Well, like, how close is it to like? You're you far. Officers? It's about a ten foot, ten fifteen foot drop to the to the ground from this uh this hatch that you're at. Apart from the CSEC officers and like a couple civilians who are in questioning right now, uh, there's nobody else. Uh. How, how like how would you open the grate? Like there's a certain there's certain things that would determine how much noise you make. If you make too much noise, you think yeah they'll hear you. All right. Uh, is it an easy like if I test the grate, is it easily movable or is it just? Uh... It seems to be bolted in or or welded in place. Oh, okay. Uh, there's CSEC out right here, and I can't open this grate without making a bunch of noise. Does it lead anywhere else, or is this the end of the line? You can keep going further. Okay, okay I can keep on going, I guess. But I feel like it's just a racing... Okay, I'll just, let's see where it else goes, because this is a deadline for me right now. And I'll continue going. Let's see how far this rabbit hole goes. Yeah, you end up, um, you walk for another, like, 10 minutes, I guess. I, I don't know how long you want to walk for. 10 minutes. Uh, till we're decently far away from Korra's den. Oh, okay. So, yeah, you guys, uh, you guys are able to make it to another section of the wards. You notice it, uh, it through the grates that you're kind of, like, on your way. You're away from Korra's den. Uh, you can't see any CSEC officers. And you see that, um... There's actually a door, like a, a person-sized door. It is also is this, locked. Is this the end of the uh, the line? For no, us? no, it's, it keeps going. Okay, I mean, I feel like at a certain point, we're just going to be going around the whole city like this. I agree. Do we, do we get out here? Let's uh, head to bed. So I think we're far enough from the, the mayhem where we won't immediately be thought. <laughs> There's a noise, quick. <laughs> Use the distraction to our advantage. Run! <laughs> Somebody else is fight. entering through one of the grates now. There they are! <laughs> ah! You thought you killed me! <laughs> He's back. He regenerated. <laughs> Uh, I guess I'll try and open the door. If it's locked, I'll try and see if I can hack yeah, into like it. A, it's a, yeah, try and hack it. It's another uh, uh, technology or electronics role. Electronics or engineering, you were saying? Oh, I do, uh, have, yeah. uh, I do have hacking tools in my toolkit. Ah. Uh, uh, I got a dirty 20. Sure. I'll say, like, hacking tools. How does that work? Just to like make sense of what's been happening, we 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 do have the tools perhaps to try and hack. Mm -hmm. But I want to know what what hacking tools does it say anything uh, specific? Cable fabricator, blah blah blah. Library of security countermeasure scripts and an air gapped computer mm -hmm. interface. Okay, so moving forward, I'm going to say to get into like to open locks, whether it be on a computer or on a door, you need to have hacking tools. I think that. If just having them, and then you can either apply a tools check or an electronics roll uh, with those tools, I would say. Gotcha. Perhaps we're proficient. Uh, Perhaps. I uh, don't know, though. Why would you have them if you weren't proficient, sir? That's true. That's true. Well, yeah, I'm not proficient. So, yeah, you guys... <laughs> I oh, just well, have them. <laughs> Good for you. You just pick them up. Because you felt like it. <laughs> I knew it, we, we, it had come to this. Are you proficient, uh, Sheems? No, I didn't take him. Oh, okay. 
There you go. I'm just a good engineering and electronics, but that's not in particularly hacking per se. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, I listen. Mean, look, I can try and use them, but I just won't be proficient in them. It's all good. I'm gonna say because you have them, you can apply your electronics, and you just use the hacking tools to like kind of like okay. actually um, find my way share, around. Share yeah. the hacking tools. Um. Yeah. Uh, you guys exit in a section of the wards that uh, appears to be close to the market when you check your map on the Omni tool. You're pretty close to the marketplace. So you're not like a completely, you're in a different section of the wards now. Well, we lost them, that's for sure. I, I hope so. Uh, so oh, what now? I feel like I really flubbed up this mission. Damn it. It's writing on this. I mean, what do we do? Is it that bad? We can still find him again, right? I mean, it's true. We didn't give away what we were there for. They just heard a commotion and started running. Did they say anything about where their ship was stationed? I don't think Nobody so. said. Uh, oh, so didn't find anything about that? The yeah, you, yeah. You guys wouldn't really know anything about that. They didn't. They didn't inform you about whether or not they even had a ship. And you know that there's public means of transportation uh, going to and from the Citadel from certain other planets and stuff like that. Like there's mm -hmm. not Lots everybody. Pirates, yeah, but they're not pirates in Citadel space. Uh, they are mercenaries. You don't know how they arrived. I mean, we can also try and like get hired as mercenaries, maybe infiltrate, you know, and find out things from the inside. That is a good. Hmm. You look the part, and I'm Wait, sure what? I pull it off. <laughs> hmm. That's not a bad idea. Undercover, huh? I just don't know how willing to be to take on the quarry. Yeah, they are attacking your uh, your people. Yeah. Unless well, you kind of use me as like I think it... a prisoner or something, I guess. Yeah. See, I caught the bastard skulking about. bring him aboard and it'd be pretty dangerous for you I'm not gonna lie yeah I know is Spectre a really big deal the biggest deal in the galaxy why oh brother imagine the highest rank that you could achieve and then times that by 10 <laughs> You get access to special weapons, information, allies, permissions, powers, everything you could think of. And there's a nice lounge in it for you, too. Spectre's Lounge. It's VIP. The VIP. A nice lounge does sound worth it. Just imagine. The first Curry Inspector. No. The first quarry inspector. Oh, There's sorry. many quarry uh, inspectors. What? <laughs> I thought there would be a lot of you guys. No, no, uh... no, there are, there are. <laughs> I was just thinking of myself while I was trying to talk about you. Unfortunately, I don't think you'd be the first. The first Turian inspector born on Omega. Ooh. You didn't let me finish. <laughs> <laughs> Look, um... But if you're Something not tells me I won't really be able to do much on the Citadel without helping the executor out anyways, I don't think I'd be in a good position if I didn't help them out. So I don't think I have much of a choice, to be honest. They, they framed it as a choice, but I, I think it would have come around back around and bit me if I didn't say yes. 
usually works like that. So uh, I guess uh, yeah, let's let's see if it works. All right. I just don't know where we'd have to go to like turn me in. I'm sure if we see some vulture about it, they'd be quick to tell us if they're part of the, uh, is the gang called again. Uh, I should know this. Blood pack. Blood pack. Dang. <laughs> Other than that, we could always try and get in contact with with Vinari. Palin, the executor. Well, you know, you're, you were supposed to go back to them after the mission because this was like a prelude to you guys helping uh, Captain Kirahe. Except we didn't really do anything. Except no. In fact, in fact, you didn't. <laughs> so... Let's, let's take a second here to, to, to think. We need information. Two guys we're looking for, the one guy we're looking for, really. Ran off. So it's crawling with CSEC officers. Yeah. Perhaps an insight check. Perhaps. <laughs> if I can. Sure, roll me an insight. Uh, I am going to say that. Um, yeah, roll me an inside check. That's a natural one. You think maybe if you wait a couple days uh, or maybe a week, the bar will be like kind of like back in operation, and maybe then you can talk to rank. But you'll you you have no idea where you can potentially. You know that there aren't generally blood pack on the citadel. That's like news, which is why you were invest like kind of called to investigate this further and you're not sure whether you will be able to find Garm or where he's going to go. There are also, there are Krogan on the Citadel, but few. So that might, you, you might be able to ask around about him and, but yeah, you're not sure. The best place to ask around about a, a Krogan warlord on the Citadel is probably Korra's den. <laughs> I've got it. Let's go to Chorus. It's the best uh, place. To okay. <laughs> the place that we just shot up and left. Okay. Okay. Very good. Uh, the name sounds familiar. Yeah. Uh, we can go try and find it, but I think that's where we were. That's a good point. So we kind of probably screwed that opportunity up. Really screwed the pooch here. Screwed the Baron, as they say. The Baron. Uh, okay, well, do you wanna? We had what? Some other names, right? Like Captain Kirian? Kira Hay. Oh, oops. Yeah, he's the big wig. He's the Solarian STG captain who yeah. is kind of leading the investigation and uh, of the Batarians. I thought, oh yeah, but he has information on Garm as well. Um, he has some information on the Blood Pack. Nothing really specifically about Garm. He's more the one in charge of the Batarians. He's the one who informed uh, the Citadel that the blood pack was coming and that they are working with the Batarians. But apart from that, he doesn't know what Garm is about. That's kind of what you guys were supposed to figure out. Gotcha. Good job. Uh, okay. Um, maybe we can find out more about ranks. Uh, syndicate. You no, know, Paul mm -hmm. couldn't have gotten too far. Maybe he knows something. <laughs> I mean, yeah, if you want to try and try on knocking on that door again. 
Uh, roll you can roll me uh, the uh, Lem. You can roll me an insight as well, or a um, a history if you'd like. Okay. Well, uh, six. Four. Uh, insight. Uh, insight. You know that in the Presidium there is a, um, a volus by the name of Barla Vaughn. And he is an information broker. Reportedly, he works with the shadow broker himself. Okay. Uh, so, I mean, it's a long shot, but we can try a guy called Barla Vaughn. Sells and trades and information. You might know something. Information is what we need. Uh, Just don't this? know what he'd ask for for that information, really. Most likely credits. Which I don't got much of. Yeah, I know. You left me with the bill. <laughs> I don't think I had anything. That's all right. I know what we could do to get credits. We could be mercenaries. Wait, that just brings us back to where we started. I mean, if if we can be mercenaries somewhere else and not in the blood pack, I think I might have a stand a better chance. You know, this doesn't feel. We like wouldn't be like in gone, inside, right? Get some credits, perhaps nobody so know somebody in this mercenary circle that knows something about. The one we're trying to get into. Other mercenary kind of like uh, crime affiliated gangs. Uh, you know about the Eclipse, and there's another one. Fuck, what are they called? Blood plaque, Eclipse. Is it the Red Sun? That's the, the Blue Red Suns, Red Sun. I believe. That's what I was thinking of before when I was thinking of blood pack. I'm like, sun, sun, something sun. Yeah, there's a blue suns. Blue suns. Yeah. Um, Eclipse. But you do know that the blood pack is almost entirely comprised of Vorcha and Krogan. So. So. Or two. I don't really have many credits, but I don't know. Maybe we can do them a favor to get information. I don't know if they work sure. like that. We'll give it a try. Maybe he'll give up something for free uh, unknowingly. Sure. I think you should lead, though, because, yeah, bad, bad reactions to me. You, oh, you don't know? Uh, I thought you knew the guy. No, I just heard his name. Uh, no worries. I'm sure I could grease my way out of this one. That's kind of what I'm banking on. I look at my stat sheet on my <laughs> Omni tool. Plus zero charisma. I've got this. <laughs> no problem for me. <laughs> I'm the best there is. All right, you head down to the Presidium, uh, unaccosted. You said wait. Was there something else that you no, need? No, lead the way. Well, you are leading the way. Uh, you get you 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 guys head back to the the Presidium relatively unaccosted. I don't, do you take? There's like elevators that you can take to get there, or you can take a taxi. We took a lot of taxes. Wait, but yeah. wasn't it like a super long walk or something? Um, to this section of the Presidium, it's kind of uh, just above uh, this ward. Okay, so, so not that far. Yeah, this one's not su super far. Beats just kind of waiting, listening to the news. In other news, a human colony was attacked by <laughs> the Vatarian Hegemony. This brings us to Reminders of the Skillian Blitz, only a few short years ago. 
They're attacking human colonies. A moment again. of silence. That's probably not a good um, sign. Yeah. Well, so the hegemony isn't technically attacking the colonies. It's Batarian pirates. Uh, they've never they never really stopped attacking just, human settlements. They added to their repertoire of targets. Just all of a sudden, they started targeting Quarian, uh, Quarian like um, mostly Quarians that were on pilgrimage, because uh, the fleet tends to stick together, and it would be too too. It's the largest fleet in the known galaxy. Uh, in the Milky Way. But anyway, so they haven't attacked the Quarians directly. That would be fucked. But yeah, they're attacking Quarians. They're attacking some Solarian STG, not STGs, but like uh, just science uh, vessels. Um, yeah. And you guys make it to the Presidium. Um, there's a couple restaurants. There's also the embassies that you can access through here. Uh, there's Barlavon. He has his office uh, right next to the Asari consort's office, and you'll able you'll be able to head there. It's a small shop, kind of like a hole in the wall shop. Uh, you see this Volus. They're kind of like uh, they're in an exosuit, similar in function to the Quarians, um, but they are sh a stockier people, very round. Uh, and he's kind of like busy typing away at his computer. And as you guys walk in, he'll say, So these are the rabble rousers. <coughs> Septus. Septus what? Septus what? I knew. Is Septus Habzo? Yes. <coughs> and Lem Garal Nar Idena. Good to see you. He's good. Very good. Oh my God. Um, You're looking for information on the blood pack, I assume. Blood pack, yeah. Um, kind of also their leader. I guess that kind of falls in the same category. Yes. Garm, the warlord. Here to meet rank. For some ne nefarious means, I presume. We've already uh, met up. We've saw them. Uh, you know, what's what's the what's the fucking saying? High tail. They high tailed it out of here. And what do you need from me? I'm Barlavon, by the way. Informant. Uh, well, informant. Information broker. Yeah, we need we, information. Uh, we came to you because, yeah, we, we had heard that you were, you were good. You were great at what you do, and we kind of need that those skills of yours. Oh, you're too kind. So what information do you need? Well, we we do want to know what they're planning. These the blood pack here, right? Um, and a bit more information on what Garm has uh, planned, especially with Rank and his goons. Rank has his sticky little tendrils in everything nefarious that takes place on the Citadel. As far as what Garm was doing here, I don't know. But I do know where he is. And I do know where he lays his head. I know that about both of them, actually. Perhaps in exchange, you can tell me a little bit more about what you know Garm was doing in this city. Uh, can I If not, accessing the Shadow Broker's information will <laughs> it'll set you back. So it's either exchange information for information or 
pay for it, right? So you're, so you're, so you're suggesting? Yep. I'm gonna look over to Septus and be like, what are you, what are you writing? I want to try and play up how, like, how, how not how much we know, but like how top, how valuable this information might be. Like, I don't know. This stuff comes straight from the top. We could be outed if anyone finds out. I know you're working with CSEC. I'll find this information out eventually. All right. You want to do it here out in the open or? Or in his office. Where you're in his office, the door is closed. He's like, well, there's nowhere else to do it. Out, out in the open. <laughs> Who um, knows what kind of bugs there might be. Doors in this, in this city. The bugs. There are no bugs in this room. I have this place thoroughly swept. Not to worry. Whatever you say here. Is between you, me, and the shadow broker. All right. Well, I can tell you this. Our orders came from a little higher up than just the CSEC office. And what does CSEC think Garm is up to? You understand that if I just give you Garm's location, even ranks, that could come back to me. I need to make sure that I'm getting adequately compensated for my discrepancies, for me putting myself out there on a limb. Simon, do we know? Because from my notes, it seems like they don't know what Garb is up to, and that's why we're here. Well, right now, you know, Garm is with the blood pack. You don't know what Garm is doing on the Citadel, mm -hmm. but you know what but, Garm is doing with the Batarians, to an yeah, extent. Yeah, they're attacking, so like, uh, the specific places, like the Quarian ships and Solarian research stations. They're likely here to find a way to either help that or to kind of further their conquest, I suppose. So I guess it's, it's, some, it's not like much to go off of, but it's still something. Is it common knowledge that uh, Commander Balek and his pirates have their hands on a dreadnought? Uh, you don't know. You roll me an insight. Fifteen plus six. No, it's uh, not. It's not common knowledge. Uh, I will. That is. Up. That is STG information. Oh. Spec ops stuff. I, I'll give it to him, but like you know, lean in, not so that Lamb can't hear, but like just to really show how conspiratorial. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And uh, I'll tell him that. I don't know if there's any other specifics about that I should know that I haven't. Written You're gonna tell me what? <laughs> tell me. You know Commander Balik. You know of him. Balik, Balik. Ah, uh, you'll have to be more specific. Balik, where's he from? What does he do? He's not on the Citadel. No, he's, he's kind of like typing through some his. Wait, Commander Balik of the Hegemony. Sure. The Batarian. Yes. Up in the what does he have to do with Garm? Well, they've got a deal with Garm. We don't quite know exactly what it is, but they are working together. And they have their hands on a dreadnought. A dreadnought, you say? That is definitely a step up for the commander. Exactly. Well... I think for that information, I couldn't let you know where Garm and Rank might be headed. 
Now, you know Cora's Den is on the Zakara Ward. Yeah. But there are other wards of the city. Uh, and I would love to tell you their names. I would love to hear them. Uh, I gotta say, I'm feeling underdressed. I don't have a headpiece like you two. I feel like I'm breathing in raw air. Is that supposed to be funny? I guess not. You know, we need these to survive, man. right? Just trying to make conversation. I, I kind of need one too, you know? Like, I'm currently in one. Do you know what happens when we get an itch where the sun doesn't shine? It's really a pain in the ass. Literally. We suffer. That being said, uh, the Tesseri Ward. Is he like scooching? <laughs> Rubbing the, the ass itch. The only way he can. Yeah, he's just like kind of like like a dog like dragging its its <laughs> ass on the floor. <laughs> Sorry, I have worms. <laughs> oh, keep that suit locked down. Please. In the Tesseri ward, Rank has his own personal enclave. I've not been able to get inside but the real docking bay how anybody would get a ship in without CSEC knowing that's another question but there it is I'll update the coordinates on your on me. Much appreciated. Oh no. Are y'all still there? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay, you are. Thank God. You guys froze up on me for a second. Yeah, you're frozen as well. For me at least. Uh the stream it looks like it's just Bernier for now. Oh. Oh. Well now oh just Bernier gone or just Bernier there? Are we can still hear, I believe. Oh, there. It was just me frozen, I think, on the stream. Oh, yeah. Which is weird. Now I have the. Oh, well, I need to back, update this back. Chrome. Yeah. A little stuttery, but you're back. Okay. Fuck. So you're saying Garm and Rank are likely uh, in that. In the Tesseri ward. In the Tesseri ward. I cannot. I can't. I can't tell you for sure, unfortunately. But I. A word of warning. You, there were lots of cameras in Cora's Den. Yeah, there was an office, and yeah, they had a bunch of screens up. So they might know what you guys look like. You can go with disguises. That is I one of the two kids. That mustache or something. Just a Turian with a mustache and a monocle. <laughs> impressive. Most impressive. They'll never know it was you. Any way you could get into those camera feeds before somebody takes a look at them? Does your reach extend that far? I'm an information broker. <laughs> Find yourself a hacker. Worth a shot. Well, sir. If that'll be all, I think this is your ride. And he flips the switch and then the doors open. And three CSEC officers come in. Here they are, officers. The ones who made the disturbance. I'll just, like, crack my neck and, and get up and turn around. It's about time. Gentlemen. Oh, you're coming with us. I would hope so. <sighs> they grab you roughly, cuff you, okay. walk you out, and you see like a bunch of people on the presidium. They're like, "Ooh, oh, what's what's going on? What's happening?" They throw you in the vehicle, 
and you fly off towards uh, the CSEC Academy. And that's where we're going to end our session tonight. I knew we'd get caught. I knew it. You see uh, Barla Vaughn exchanging, like, uh, well, one of the, the CSEC officers hands Barla a bunch of credits. Barla kind of like walks inside. Yeah. Can't knock the hustle. Thank you it's for playing, boys. Thank so you for this little impromptu game. sesh. Thank you for this uh, impromptu sesh. Uh, pulling it out of your ass like that. I killed it. It felt nice. felt good. I was happy we were able to uh, learn a bit, a bit of, about what combat looks like in this. Uh, what are you guys feeling? How are you guys th feeling about that? Still kind of learning it a little bit. I feel like uh, it definitely isn't as smooth as it is for uh, D and like the 5e. But not as smooth as eggs. The system sure. just yet. I understand barrier now, which is very useful. Yeah. I thought you got to remember. You got to remember, it keeps coming up, right? Yeah, yeah. four times in a fucking encounter is sick. Uh, four times. Well, four, four times, six, and right. like also like the number of ticks you have yeah. for the barrier too. Mm -hmm. Now I know what this little five counter with a D eight button next to it is. Yeah. My barrier. <laughs> like, yeah. The purple, uh, the purple line. Really, gotta good. love. Uh, gonna call out, yeah. Gonna call out N seven again. Uh, oh, N seven yeah. dot world. Uh, love. Absolute. Love it. Love the character creator. Love. Uh, love the rules. Love Mass Effect. EXP. It's good times. EXP. Uh, yeah. Fuck. Why not? I don't know. I guess if it. I don't know if it works the same. It's okay. I say you guys get uh, six thousand exp each. Six thousand. Six thousand. Right, how do you? 6, how do I add yeah. exp? Is it the cog? Uh, okay. Yes, yeah, the cog. I think it's, it's the cog. Yeah. Level. Uh, yeah. Come with us as we, level, uh, as we as we add learn. experience. Of just... <laughs> Apply. Yeah. Oh, Did we get any of the first though? I don't think. Oh so. wait. Wait, we're at level five. No, we have to be level six. No, you didn't get any the first time. So we're eighth level. Right? No, I know, but like. Yeah, you should be oh, but level. it's saying level four. So oh, it's saying total experience is 6,000. Eight, apply. Uh, and then add XP to 6,000. Apply. Okay, so you have to set your level first to, to the level. And then add exp to get to. Okay. Get to, yeah. But it works. Interesting. Good. We're learning on the fly. Okay. Well, we're fucking learning. Hopefully, you guys are learning with us. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed it. Uh, join us next week for our back to our regularly scheduled programming. Hopefully, we're gonna have Misha's on the Tuesday. By by Misha's, I mean eyes end with uh, the usual Tuesday crew. And then on Thursday, we'll be back with chittering, praying, hoping that uh, we get to wander back in the woods. You got, you know, I love them woods, backwoods or otherwise. Um, yes, and you can find us on every single social, basically, that's out there. Anyone that matters, we're on uh, the Hexagon TTRPG. Uh, please watch on YouTube. Please subscribe to our or subscribe. Please join our Discord. Subscribe if you're not already subscribed to our Twitch. Uh, and uh, I love you. We're Hexagon. Damn. <laughs> I love you. Good night, guys.